happy to get to get it all done now. Um, it's been in the process for a bit of a while, uh, but good to get it all done, like you said, and uh, looking forward to starting now. And just sort of tell the Glen Torn fans a bit about your career to date, clubs you've been at, and a bit about your international experience as well. Yeah, I, I started at uh, Stevenage um, over in England. I was there for five years, um, and then I moved on to Leighton Orient uh, for two years. Um, and then I was on loan at Newport County there most recently, um, and Northern Ireland. Um, I played for Northern Ireland from under 16 up until under 21. Um, and loved every minute of it. Um, played in some really big games in Northern Ireland and uh, really enjoyed it. And just talk us a little bit about your career in England. You've you won some silverware and just being involved in that full time environment across the water must have been a good experience. Yeah, it was a good experience. Um, I enjoyed my time over there. Um, like you said, I uh, got promoted uh, with Lytton Orient. Um, but Coming back here, um, I wanted to stay in full-time football. Um, Glen Torn um, provide that for me, and um, I'm looking forward to getting started, like I said. And just tell us a wee bit about how the move came about. Uh, well, obviously, I got released from my last club. Uh, got in contact. Um, Glen Torn got in contact with me. Um, and things just obviously progressed from then. Um, but... Uh, seeing Glen Thorne, seeing what they're about at the minute, and um, I mean, they're one of the biggest clubs in Ireland. Um, I mean, you're coming back here to play full time football for one of the biggest clubs in Ireland um, with a great fan base. And I mean, I'm coming back here to be successful and win trophies. Um, and that's the that's the main that's the main thing really. And being across the water, did you sort of keep an eye on the local game while you were away? Ah, of course I did. I always keep an eye on. Um, the Irish League, the League of Ireland. Um, I love seeing what's going on, um, watching highlights, keeping an eye on it. Um, and I mean, it's getting better each each year, obviously. Um, the standards obviously improving year by year, um, and I just think it's a great place to be at the moment to play football. And Glen Torn offers you a great opportunity as well. You're coming in as a as a full time player. It's mm -hmm. it's a nice thing to be able to come to Northern Ireland and be a full time player. Yeah, that was, like I said to you, that was um, one of the big factors um, being in full-time football because a lot of people look at it, um, coming, back from, coming back from England to play in Ireland, um, they look at it as a step back. Um, I don't see it like that at all. Um, I'm coming back here, I'm still playing full-time football. Um, I want to be successful, like I said to you, and um, hopefully my career can kick on um, for the better. And what did you make of the ground? You've sort of got a chance to have a look around, you got onto the pitch and we're sitting in the performance centre now. What, what have you made of the Oval? I the Oval's very very nice eh? Um I obviously remember it briefly um, from my younger days watching the Irish League and stuff. Um, and uh, yeah coming up here, I mean I came I remember I came here one with Northern Ireland under seventeens one time um, and I mean they didn't have all this here, what we're what we're standing at the minute. So you can see it's came on leaps and bounds, and um, it's obviously improving day by day. And what sort of can the fans expect of you as a player? Your your midfield player, of course. I'm a midfield player. I um, I'll give hundred percent every time I step step on that pitch wearing the Glen Thorn shirt. Um, I like to get on the ball and make things happen, and I'm competitive. I don't mind a tackle. Um, so. Now you can just you can just um, you'll get a hundred percent from me all the time.